Google says that Imogen 2 on Vertex AI is now generally available. Here we can see an output from Imogen 2 from their website, a rather dapper French bulldog. Of course, the image produced by Google was handpicked. Nonetheless, let's match this guy up against outputs from five other solutions. Watch them being created and see how they turn out. Here are the contenders that we'll take a look at. Midjourney, Dolly 3, Pixlr, and Stable Diffusion on Playground AI. So let's have at it. Here's our French Bulldog at the beach. And if you take a close look at the prompt that they provided to us, it ends with a statement, 85 millimeter F slash 2.8. Let's break this down. The latter part of this prompt is guiding the AI to produce an image as if it had been taken by a lens with an 85 millimeter focal length and with the aperture of 2.8. This is typical of professional portrait photography. And that aperture is uh, wide, so it's going to let in more light, which is going to result in a shallower depth of field and sharper focus. So it's going to draw attention to the subject with artistic depth. That's the purpose. Now let's take a look at an image that is actually generated by this kind of lens. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be looking for in these images. So let's go back to that page. Let's copy the exact text that was used to generate that image and paste it into several other text to image solutions that are out there and see how it turns out. Here we are first using Midjourney, which you can see is on Discord. We're on a shared channel, so other people are generating content as well. Forward slash imagine, and then we're gonna put in our prompt, which we'll just simply paste in. Waiting to start. 15% done, 31% done. Well, this is not so bad. These are also very nice French Bulldogs, you might say. I like them all. Maybe not as much the upper right the one in the lower right maybe is a little bit hard to look at because the sun is setting behind him, but it's a very interesting effect, isn't it? Let's go with the one in the upper left. We'll go ahead and upscale it. And there he is. Contender number one from Midjourney. Now, let's go to Dolly 3, which we can access for free currently on Bing. You can see I've pasted in the prompt, create, and four images are produced. Hmm, Dolly 3. Interesting, huh? Well, they're all good. They're all excellent. I kind of like this guy in the lower right. Let's go with him. So, download and contender number two, Dolly 3 on Bing. Hmm. Now let's go to Pixlr. You can see I pasted in the prompt. I asked it to generate the image. It's producing four, well, Four excellent images. Who's to pick? I, uh, I think the first one is a little far away. Maybe the second one is a little close. 
can't see the eyes too well on the fourth one. Let's go with number three. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, hey? So there's Pixlr. Very nice. Now let's go to Stable Diffusion, which we can access using Playground AI. And one of the things you'll see here is that I already generated an image. You can see these three bulldogs were produced, including one with a red bow tie. It's funny, huh? Um, I didn't ask for three. I asked for one portrait of a French bulldog, but it produced three. Now, in fairness, Stable Diffusion doesn't produce four choices. It produces one. So let's go ahead and put that same prompt in a second time and see if we can get just one image this time rather than a trio of three bulldogs. So that was great an image, but let's see what happens. Image processing. Ah, we got three again. Who knows what it's thinking? Why three? I mean, it's nice, it's three, but we're trying to match things up. But anyway, let's stop generating and uh, we'll declare this new one without the red bow tie as the preferred option. There it is. So that is contender number four. Now I actually couldn't resist the temptation to go ahead and do post-processing of this image to erase the other two dogs, create a new beach, and then plop uh, the guy in the foreground onto the new beach so that we would have a, a, an easier comparison with the others. So here's how that turns out. Okay, there. Looks pretty good. So let's match them all up. We've got the original French Bulldog from Imogen 2 and all the others. All of them are very good, huh? Very realistic. And the portrait photography effect with the face in sharp focus, flattering the facial features, and soft focus behind. It's been picked up by all of them, I'd say. Which one of these do you suppose is the best photo? Which is the best French Bulldog? Who's to say? Well, if we're going to talk about which one is the best Bulldog, then I have to step in here. I know it seemed like Jim was the one who was narrating, but, you know, I'm really the one in control here. And let's acknowledge that all of the Bulldogs that you saw are perfectly good. They're very attractive. They're very nice. But I hope that you'll agree that I am the best of the breed. Thank you very much, and bye for now.